coming live from Vienna, capital of Austria, is our guest today. Welcome to this very special edition of the KJ Masterclass Live, the show which ensures that you profit from your time spent here with experts, either through their industry insights and information or simply learning from them. But before I move forward, may I request you to subscribe, follow, like and comment on whichever platform you are watching or listening to this show on. And today we have Florian Fritz, founder of the Money Hero Academy. Welcome to the show, Florian. Welcome to the show. Welcome to India. Thank you so much for inviting me, AJ. It's great to be back in India. Lovely, lovely. And in fact, you know what? Your city, the city of Vienna, is also known as the city of music. Because greats, greats like you know Beethoven, Mozart, they call it as their home. They were residents of Vienna. You know? True. And what you are going to talk today is about money and money is also music to a lot of years you know money makes music absolutely yes sure. yes yes so i'm sure you will make a lot of music uh, today with your advice with your with your thoughts and insights of how exactly people can manage the finances so what exactly our topic is why you should take care of your finances yourself and how you can do it so from the topic itself uh, florian just tell us why should people manage their uh, finances themselves yeah, that's a great question. Thank you, AJ. Well, because nobody is as interested in your financial success as you are yourself. I started 18 years ago as a financial advisor, and I did that for a couple of years in the greatest, biggest German-speaking company for financial advisory at that time. And what I found is I didn't really like how the financial industry is treating their clients. Because the clients right. take all the risk and they pay all the fees. And the industry, the banks and investment companies, they make all the money and take all the profits. And then we had in 2008, in uh, the last big crisis, people actually lost money with their investments, yeah. but were still paying the fees. And the bankers still got their bonuses. Right. So right. something's wrong in that system. And I wanted to do... To, to do it better so that I could actually help my clients. That's why I started traveling the world, learning from some of the greatest trainers like Kiyosaki and T.R. Ecker and some ex-fund managers, uh, people who've been 50 years in the industry and really know how, how to make money there. Whether the markets are going up, down or sideways or totally crazy, you can always make money. And the proof right. is there are always people who make money in every situation. But as long as you don't take care of your money yourself and you just give it to an advisor or a fund manager and let them do it for you, well, what do you think? Whose interest have they in mind? Their own. So they will sell you what pays the best commissions for them and not right. what is really best for you. Right, right. So, yes, so you should manage your own finances, your own money, whether you know much about finances or you know less about it or more about it from a general person's perspective uh florian tell us how does one begin with that how just how can one do it how does one begin with that from mm -hmm. different people from individuals to small businesses because you advise a lot of health you know small business owners you know to improve their financial situation to grow their wealth but yes. individuals also so just in your own manner, simple tips, how they can begin and how they can take it, take, go through this journey. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, I teach the three pillars of financial success, or today I prefer to call them the three superpowers of the money hero, right. which are your money mindset, your money management, and your money making skills. And money making, especially making your money make more money for you. Okay. But you, have, you should start at the beginning, which is your money mindset. Because how you think about money determines the results you get. Let me give you an right. example for that. If you think you have to work hard for money, what are you probably going to do? You're probably going to work hard, right? Right. Now, in your experience, AJ, are all those hardworking people rich? How is that in India? Are all hardworking people rich? No, you can only work as much hard as you can, but 
obviously it's not possible always to become rich you can grow your work hard and grow your business but it's a different thing than you know becoming financially independent absolutely most heartbreaking people are broke right they break their back working hard and their account is still empty my so, my back uh, is my, my back is broken florian your advice will be most useful to me to do share it <laughs> great so obviously there's something wrong with this belief that hard work will make you rich or that you have to work hard for money so but why do we still believe it why do we do we still teach it to our kids now that's just one we have all these other beliefs that say uh, money is the root of all evil and money destroys your character and money doesn't grow on trees and as long as you believe those things you can't you can't get rich if you think money is evil and destroys your character your subconscious will always protect you from becoming rich because you don't want to be a bad person so start with working on that change your beliefs by just switching them around instead of saying okay money doesn't grow on trees think of something an opposite belief that you would like to have money is lying on the street i just have to pick it up money is easy to get money comes to me i'm a money magnet write down a couple of these new beliefs and then you just affirm them uh, read them to yourself every day a couple of times in the morning and in the evening until uh, it will feel awkward in the beginning because you're believing actually the contrary but the more often you tell it to yourself the more natural it's going to feel so that's just one simple way to start changing those old and wrong money beliefs that we have all learned in in the past and now it's going to be easier that's just one step actually i do a, a free seven day program the attracting money challenge okay where i where we work on changing that money mindset so instead of resisting money you start attracting it we will be starting the next one on uh, april 18th if you're interested everybody you're very welcome to join we'll we'll give you a link for for that it's free seven days and helps you change your money mindset and once you've done that next step is the money management you want to take care of your money everybody manages their money but most people do it badly right, right. <laughs> at the end of the month there's no money left or at the end of the money there is still so much month left that's even worse so you want to start managing your money and especially you want to take something away at the beginning of the month that you keep for yourself that's yours and that you invest so it will work hard for you so in the future your money works hard for you instead of you working hard for your money so you okay. need a system where you start keeping some of your money and there is there's something called parkinson's law parkinson's law says that demand for something will always match its supply that's the reason why there's never any money left no matter how much you earn you know that from time probably if you give yourself three weeks to clean your house it was going to take three weeks if you give yourself three days you can clean your house in three days and if you have some important visitor coming and you have three hours left you can clean your house in three hours correct right right so the demand for time matches the supply that you give you and the same is true for money if you see there's money on the bank account, you're going to spend it. That's why people who earn an average or a very low income have no money left. But people with a high income have no money left at the end of the month either because they spend it. Unless you do something different. And at the beginning of the month, you say, okay, I want to 10% is my money. 15% is my money that I will keep that and I'll invest it so it works for me. Because not how much you earn is what makes you rich, but how much you keep. Okay. Okay. So these are, first was money mindset. Second was money management. And what's the third one? And the third one is money making. That has two components, active and passive, right? Most people right. only focus on the active part. I need the next raise or I need the next client. Work hard, work hard, work hard uh, to make a little bit more money. Okay. But you're limited with that. You only have 24 hours a day. You can't work more than 24 hours a day and probably you'll want to sleep at, and eat at some point as well. So you need, if you really want to become wealthy, you need to make passive income. There again, there's two options. You can have passive investment income. That's the money you kept from managing your money well. 
investing it well and getting a return from that. And I'm not talking about a return that the bank is paying you on your bank account at 0, 0.000 something, basically nothing. <laughs> or in Germany, you actually have to pay that they take care of your money. <laughs> they have negative right. interest. Right. So right. I'm not talking about that. You have to educate yourself, learn about investments so you can make 10, 20, 30% a year. That's how your money can grow. Right now we have inflation of 10%. If you have 10% inflation and you get zero interest at the bank, well, you're losing 10% every single year. You've got to do something against that. So you need to learn about investing. And the second uh, option for passive income is passive business income. Like You create a value one, once, like you write a book once, and then you sell it again and again and again. Or you create an app. Everyone has a smartphone, right? Billions of people in the world have a smartphone. Create an app. You don't need to know how to program it. Have an idea. And then you go to online, fiverr.com or freelancer.com or whatever. And you find someone who can program it for you. You just need the idea what you think that people would use on their app. If it's a game right. or something that's some helpful to tool, whatever it is. So create an app once and then you sell it again and again and again. Or you write, write a blog online and have advertising on your page and monetize from that. There's so many options on how you can create passive income. But that's right. what you need to actually create wealth because from your time only, it's going to be very, very tough. Right. So these, these, these were your three pillars of financial success. Yes. Money mindset, money management, and right. money making. Yes, but then the question still remains is for people like me and I guess several of them, how, what are the steps to create financial freedom? How to do it? Okay, I created my mindset. How do you even create that? So just to simplify it in as simple manner as possible. So what are the steps to create financial freedom for oneself? Uh, yes. It's another way of asking the same question, but perhaps you'll just, you know, break it into much more simpler uh, please, uh, absolutely. Then. Actually, I have the Money Hero Dream Roadmap, okay, which is a 12-step plan on how to create your financial freedom. Okay. And you can find that if you join my Facebook group, Money Hero Group, uh, then you can find that there is a file. Now you start. Where do you start? If you want to lose weight, where do you start? The first step is you step on the scales and you check where am I starting from, right? Right, right, so you right. can compare your progress. Now you do the same thing for financial freedom. You do your financial statement. You find out where am I starting from? What's my income? What's my expenses? What's my assets? What, my, what are my liabilities? You check those things and then you know, okay, this is where I'm starting from. Number two is most people don't get what they want because they don't know what it is that they want. Right, right. So... Number two is finding out what you actually want. Write your bucket list, write down 101 things of things that you would like to see, do, have, experience in your life. So make a long list of what you want so you actually have an idea of why are you doing this. Most people don't have um, enough motivation to go for financial freedom because they would like to have it, they would like to be rich, but they're not willing to do anything because they don't know what's, what's in it for them. What would they get out of it? So... Find that motivation, find out what you actually want. Step number three is implementing a money management system. Okay. For that, I this easiest one for, for private individuals is the JAR system by T.R. Ecker. If you read the book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, you'll find it is, uh, explained in there. Or you can find an explanation in my group. If you join my Facebook group, I've got it on video in there. So that's the easiest one. Uh, and yeah, just implement that, start managing your money. Number four, choose a passive income vehicle, whether you want to go for investment income, whether you want to go for passive business income, check what are you doing right now? Is there something you're doing right now that you can convert into passive Record uh, record something that you're doing anyway, and then sell it online or whatever, what you are doing, what your knowledge is, what you're good at, what you like to do, how can you turn it into passive? Now, these are the, like the four basic steps. If you start with those, you're well on your way. 
And then, of course, we have step five, six, seven, and to, to 12. Yeah, yeah, you can carry on because in the we meantime, I'll just, yes, uh, uh, Florian, in the meantime, there is a message from Chavi Dang. Uh, Dang, she has, she has commented that, yes, uh, Florian, it is the money you keep that makes you rich. So as for you, the comment that you made, that it's the money, you know, that you keep that actually makes you rich. So there are people who agree with you. They understand what you actually mean. So carry on with your further steps, you know, so that people can actually make use of all the steps that are possible because you see as you said a lot of people want to have financial freedom but as you also said that they need to want to have financial freedom some do some do not even know what freedom financial freedom is all about so if your steps are easy to follow it is sometimes you know it, 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 it itself becomes the motivating factor so absolutely feel free to well, all your steps let me give, since you said not everybody has a clear idea of what it actually is, let me give you a quick definition of financial freedom. I sure, always sure, have sure. this here with me. Right. You're financially free as soon as your passive income, you can't read that very well because it's green letters in front of a green screen. Yeah. But it expenses, says passive, yeah. passive income is bigger than your expenses. As soon as passively, without you going and work out and working, then your expenses are every month. You don't have to work anymore. And then that's when you're financially free and you can choose wh what you want to do, where you want to do it, when you want to do it. And then it's so much easier to actually take more time and make more money in the future. Because uh, Rockefeller said, uh, if you're working all day, you have no time to make money. Right. Absolutely. Now, step five. Step five of the Money Hero Dream Roadmap is earn your fat first passive income. Step four was decide on a vehicle. But most people decide on a vehicle. Then they work on it for a couple of days. Then they say, oh, it doesn't make me money that quickly and stop again and look for the next vehicle. It's never going to work like that. If you jump from one shiny object to the next and never put the work in to actually create the value that will give you the passive income later, then it's not going to come. So work on the vehicle that you decided in step four, at least until you got the first income. And then you can still decide, okay, is the work I have to put in worth that income that I'm getting or not? But at least work as much as you until you see. Let me give you an example. I learned about drop shipping and found that was an interesting concept. I want to try it. Because I had been told that's a nice side business or side income. Okay, I tested it. I found a product and I sold a couple of those. And I found it is not a side business. It is a full-time business. Right. If you want to make money with drop shipping, it's great. It works, but it's a full-time business. And I didn't want to make it my full-time business. So I dropped it again. But I did work on it until I saw, okay, you can make money with it. This is how you make money with it. And then I decided, but it's not how I want to make my money. Okay. So test it until you really know and not until someone tells you that about the next shiny object that's so much easier. Now, right. number six is have a team, have a business team. You, you will have, want to have definitely want to have an accountant. That's the first thing you want. Uh, get someone to take care of your money so you always know your numbers. Then you will need a tax advisor. You need an attorney. You might, if you want to invest in real estate, a real estate broker, a uh, mortgage broker, all these things, build a team. Don't try to do everything by yourself. First of all, you can't be a specialist in everything. That's totally impossible. And you're wasting a lot of time. Everything is easier with a team. Number seven build a safety fund. Now, many people tell you that's the first thing you should do, have an emergency fund. First of all, never ever call it emergency fund because you've probably heard of the law of attraction. What you focus okay. on expands. Now, if, you're, if you have an emergency fund, what do you think you're going to get more of? Emergencies. Do you want emergencies in your life? No. <laughs> so, have a safety fund because do you want more safety in your life? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so have a safety fund of, depending on the level of safety you like, three to six months of your expenses. 
as I said, many people to, to tell you that should be the first thing that you have. Personally, I don't think so. I like to use investments already to create that fund. So invest the money and then take some of my profits and put them at the side for emergent uh, safety fund. Very, I think it's easier and faster that way that if you say, okay, I can't invest any money, I can't make money work for me because I have to wait until I have that safety fund ready filled with six months of my expenses. That might, I don't know, might take very long. It's gonna be faster if you already make it work in between. My personal opinion. Number eight, very important. Step number eight is fulfill yourself one of the small dreams you have on your bucket list that you wrote in step two with the money from your passive income. Okay. You want to celebrate. That's super important. That's why it's not only one, but actually two steps in this in the dream roadmap. Because you're not doing it just to collect money. Nobody's happier just because he has millions in the bank account. You're happier because of the things you do with it. Your lifestyle gets better. Your quality of living gets better if you actually do something with it. So make sure you fulfill yourself, your dreams once in a while that you wrote down and why you're actually doing it. After that, after you the first time you fulfilled yourself one of your dreams with your passive income, you will feel so much richer. You will see the progress and you'll be so much more motivated to go on to be able to fulfill your next dream that the money will automatically flow already. Okay? Number 9, have all your bad debt pay off, paid off. Again, Often people say this should be the first thing you do, pay off all your bad debt. And again, I say I like to pay my debt off with money that I didn't have to work for that came in passively from investments. Of course, you have to calculate. If you're paying 17% uh, interest on your debt, you want to pay those off quickly. If you're paying 5%, well, you can make with your investments, you can make 20%, 5% is a lot cheaper. So pay that off with your returns from investments. Right. At least that's what I do. I had a business partner a couple of years ago and I didn't take care enough of that side business. He bankrupted the business, half a million dollar in debt suddenly. And by now I'm down to 50,000 and I'm not working for it. I'm paying it off by investment returns. Step number 10, well, that's when you have your financial independence, meaning your passive income is actually covering your expenses. Okay. That's financial independence. You don't need to work anymore. Step number 11, now you want to diversify. You don't want only one stream of passive income. You want to have multiple streams of income. So now your first one is working. It's making you enough money to cover your expenses. Now you have time to open in the next stream and the next one and the next one. Don't do them all at once because if you don't focus on one, none of them is going to work out. So create one. And as soon as that covers your expenses, go, okay, what could be the second one? And create the second one until that works. And then you say, okay, what could be the third one? And then you go on. So one after the other, create multiple streams of income. The average millionaire has seven. So that's your goal. And step number 12, now you can fulfill your big dream, one of the big dreams you have on your list. And step number 13, is you'll get the Money Hero Award because you have multiple streams of income. You not only have your passive income covering your expenses, but actually the lifestyle that you desire. You can live in whatever luxury you want. Wonderful. Wonderful, Florian. Uh, I, I, I don't think there's anything left. 12, 13 is enough. That was, that was it. That was the full was money and hero dream road. Yes. Yes. In fact, it was good. I, you know, requested you to talk about all of them, you know, and you know, the best one I, I like personally was to fulfill your dreams along the way as you start earning, you know? Yes, absolutely. Super important. Yeah. Because that's what you, that you, that's what you live for. And that's what you want to earn money. That keeps you motivated to complete the full process. Now, this was uh, in terms of how would you 
create income for you. Now, people who have already some income, say small businesses and all, mm -hmm. how do they they uh, grow in terms of money? Or for individuals, how do they make their money work for you? They may have money. They, they, they don't have too much of money, but they want their money to work for them. How mm -hmm. do they do that? Uh, well, best thing is to learn about investments. There's four asset classes. You can decide I want to invest in real estate, in paper assets like stocks, bonds, cryptos, in commodities like gold, silver, oil, these things, and in business. Now, pick one. <laughs> the easiest to, to handle is probably the paper assets because it's, it's very easy to invest in the stock market. But... You have to educate yourself. Otherwise, you're going to lose in the stock market. You'll be the one paying the, the profits of other people. You don't want that. Right. So right. you've got to learn a little bit about it, what you're actually doing. And then you, you'll be able this this week. I'm running a program teaching an option strategy that returns 30 to 40 percent a year. Uh, also very interesting extra income. So learn how to do it and then invest your income and take care of it yourself. But always there has to be some education. Don't just go in the stock market, watch a YouTube video and say, okay, now I know uh, and do it. So be sure to educate yourself before you put your money in. Wonderful. Wonderful, Florian. In fact, you see uh, the city that you are in at the moment, city of Vienna. I told you at the beginning, it's known as also as the city of music. Because of Beethoven and Mozart, you know, and several others who called it their home. It's also called as a city of dreams, you know. But it was called for Sig Sigmund Freud. It's, he used to do this psycho psychoanalysis and all. Yeah. But if we take it from your perspective and everybody's perspective, your tips will let, let them dream better and dream for a better future for sure. So not only does your tip you know, the music uh, or, or the, your money tip sound uh, music to a lot of people, but it also helps, will help them to dream a bit more. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, I invite every every listener here to join the next Attracting Money Challenge. going to start April 18th, but um, there will be other opportunities after that as well. You can sign up if you go to uh, moneyheroacademy.com slash amc short for attracting money challenge and you can sign perfect. up there and we'll work on your money mindset to get you a good start perfect perfect in fact i will put a lot of your details uh on the youtube description so that you know people can get all the links they can connect with you and get as much benefit because this show is only for half an hour but they can only learn as much as they is possible from this show but they can continuously learn from uh, from you uh, as they go along uh, when they come to know more about uh, your links and all. Absolutely. In my in my Facebook group, which is also free, I share lots of tools, tips, techniques every week um, where you can learn more and we have more time over the weeks than half an hour. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Thank you for your time, Florian. That, that was wonderful, wonderful tips and I myself stand much better educated in terms of money uh you know in terms of mindset management money making um, money management and obviously the money making part so maybe i'll also start using them uh, uh now onwards on that note mm -hmm. florian it's a wrap on this edition of the kj masterclass thank you very much indeed thank you very much for inviting me aj